Helicopter Oscar Echo X-ray Tango X-ray taxiing from the apron to Sierra 2. Thank you very much, Oscar Tango X-ray. Speak to you on the ground. Helicopter Oscar Echo X-ray Tango X-ray holding short Sierra 3 and traffic on base or final. With no traffic reported, helicopter Oscar Echo X-ray Tango X-ray and the runway via Sierra 3 for immediate takeoff. Right, what heading are we aiming for? I should just consult please, the please plan. Co-pilot, please. 059, Zero five. is your heading that you're wishing to get at. Right. We'd like to be 1,200 feet by the time we get to Santa Maria, please. Right, OK. Helicopter Oscar Tango X-ray leaving the circuit on course to Santa Maria. I'll take the trim out for you because you can now. OK, yeah. Makes really it just a little bit lighter for awesome. you, OK? So even this now, we're very, I mean, 1,200 feet is still yeah. pretty low, isn't it? I mean, the top of the hotel, we're not much over 150 or 200 feet over there, I would, I would, I'd, I'd wager. Okay, so we're at 10, 11, yeah. so we're expecting to get to Inca yeah. at 22. Okay. So 12 minutes. Fine. Yeah? Don't look inside too much. Very much look outside, get a reference point and hold it and get your attitudes. Then reconfirm, you're checking inside. Yeah. Okay? That's the way we want to do it. That's the way. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Helicopter Oscar Tango X-ray over Santa Maria on course to Echo, holding 1,200 feet. More or less. More or less. Yeah, we're well, climbing 1,200. Okay, that's 1,300. But okay, I'm not going to quibble with maths. You're, you're from Manchester. That's 1,300. Oh yeah, sorry. As I see, that's a two there. Yeah, that two. And I'm <laughs> that the big hand, Sam. Yeah. When the big hand goes round. That's two. <laughs> right. So let's reference our map. Of, of where how we're doing okay there's a motorway there yeah yeah where's your line my line's here okay where's the motorway in reference to your line here the red okay so where are we so we're on the wrong side of the mountain so we're not so the wind is more than likely pushing us further off than what you thought right so you've got a massively obvious reference yeah yeah there and our yeah. line should be there yeah. going up basically along the villages yeah so we are almost a whole probably nautical mile off our yeah. course already even though we've kind of been holding the heading yeah you've been holding a little bit to the right yeah. a little bit so let's make an adjustment for that for two minutes or something to oh, get us back cool. and then head back onto course because that wind has pushed us right over yeah. so that's super basic navigation fucking motorway we're yeah. on the wrong side of it yeah 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 totally good how you feeling all right all right yeah getting into it Trying to get a feel of what 70 looks like from outside. Once you get your attitude sorted, yeah. it's fucking sorted, and you'll find the more that we do this, which we're going to do quite a lot of it, the more that you're end up going to be pretty um, decent at holding it, because it just takes a mentality shift of don't letting it. Yeah. So whenever you're ready, we'll take our new course, which is, if I'm not mistaken, it was 112, was it? I can't one, remember. Yeah, one, well, 117. Okay. okay. I expect this to be a bit different, okay? So now we need to try and look for the villages yeah. and navigate towards there. So, we don't want you to turn, to start turning that down. Yeah, you start to turn onto 117. And then we'll give a bit of helicopter to Tango X-ray at Echo on course to Manacor. There's a hill coming up here. You see that spot yeah. right there, yeah, yeah. 1000? Yeah. That's got to be that, hasn't that. it? Got because be. there's nothing else, in, that's the Puch de Villafranca that is. So that's another, that's a fucking a steadfast navigational point. Yeah, one in the hour, one in the mile. So we're on 105, 105, so it's about right. So we worked out that hill there, that's the town there, it's got to be that. Let's get back up to 70 knots so we keep our timings, yeah? yeah. Go ahead and distract you by speaking, but you've got to get used to doing it yourself. Right, so, where's your other map? Okay, so I'll take this off you, because I'm feeling generous. That's very well prepared, that's it. Yeah, it's good, yeah. I thought it folded it. Hold it the, folded the bit that we needed to go just to make it really difficult yeah, for yourself. with the doors off. But I'll just hold it. Right, so, <laughs> it'll be easy for the minute just to hold it, okay? You pop that down. Right, so we're at Manacor. We want to find this road. Yeah. Okay? Now you can see you've got quite a roundabout there and a really straight road. So this is point to the north, yeah? That's north up, and we're okay. not so north we're up. Not north. So let's go, let's go that way and then swing it around to come up to north and see what we can see. This map isn't super, super accurate. Okay. 
Okay, but we need to know the main road coming there's over there. Road. Oh, there's a main, 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 main road there. Yeah. yeah, going straight. And another main road coming out, going straight with a kink in it. Yeah. So all of a sudden you can start to see. Where are you going? Yeah, and there's a little hippodrome. You see that there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hippodrome? You see the hippodrome? Oh, yeah. So you're starting to get, well, that hippodrome there next to that main road. Okay. So let's go north. Okay. So, so where do you think we are? I think we're about right here. Good, okay. Right. So I'm going to follow it up because there's a main road. Yeah. The main road here. Yeah. Now look at the shape of the road. Yeah. Straight, straight, straight. Kink. Kink. Yeah. Yeah. And if it comes back round a bit, we know where we're going there, yeah? Yeah. Main road coming up here. You see that, that, that curve in the road there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that, that there. there yeah. So you're looking at the little obvious features of roads. Exactly. So Rotana is somewhere in between here. Let's see if we can find the helipad. It's got to be here somewhere, no? Well, look at the hill. Yeah. Right at the base of the hill. Right at the base of the hill, but slightly to the right. Yeah. Ah, right, okay, there it is. So that's the helipad there. You see the big green? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With a big fucking H yeah. on it? Yeah. That's the that's helipad that's Rotana. Right. Okay? And that is navigation to its nth degree. So what is that? It's a, it's, well, I'm gonna go, it's, it's, a, it's a golf club and a restaurant and a hotel. Oh, right, okay, that's cool. That's navigation done. That's, cool. that's how you do it, right? But you can see, although the, the map's not, there is a lot of accuracy when you pick yeah, the right really, road. That's awesome. that, okay, it kinks round, and, okay. Look, it kinks around there and it's kinking back around there and then it curves off there. So you can see all of that. Yeah, yeah. So once you get used to doing it, you just go, fuck it, that does surprise road. me how accurate that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, totally. So. That's how you find a house if you have an issue. Oh. Good. I think that's been a good little lesson. Yeah, I do. You've done well, and uh, you can see what I'm talking about. It takes some work. Definitely we'll do another work. navigation route next, or you can go and do that navigation route on your own. Yeah. Because you need to do that. Yeah, totally. Do that now. <clears throat> and um, we'll do on to Calarajada next time to the VOR. We'll find the VOR. And we just build you up to go to Minorca then, really. Yeah. Soon. That'd be cool. And let's put this on, just do a little, little bit of GPS training as we're going back in, really. Okay, map. I'll come up in a minute with a fix. And I'll tell you your ground speed. And uh, this is a useful little tool as well. Right. I've got no harm in you using it when you do your cross-country rally, to because it's no kind of shit. Um, you can do loads of stuff on this. You can put a direct two, and then just say direct two. Oh, really? straight. Yeah, you can just do direct two there. Here. Uh, uh, what we're we doing? Select airports. L E S. Oh wait, that's it. O S B. I mean, it's quite old school technology. Works. So it's not got a fix yet, but it will do in a minute. There you go. Thirteen point nine nautical miles. Bearing two four seven. It gives you direct without thinking about air wow. airports and stuff. Yeah. Nine fifty six. We're going to get back eleven minutes. Ground speed. Ground speed seventy seven. That's it. It's giving you all the information that you need to know. You can subtract information or add information, direct to, you can zoom in, zoom out. There's quite a lot you can do on on, on that. You're just going to clip the, you sit in there so you can zoom in. Yeah. And you can check, am I going into the CTR there? So right. there's the corner of the CTR, the pink light. Yeah, where, does it show where we are? Yes, yeah, so there, that, that's oh, okay. crossed that's there. Good. And that's you just coming into there. So you're out of the CTR, coming down. And let's see, we're at 81 ground speed, so we've got six knots tailwind. Oh. Off the away grey final. Fine. Good flight, dude. Enjoyed it. Yeah, it was good. I like doing stuff like that. Good. And put your trip back in as well. Yeah. Just makes you all a little loose, loose. Fluid. Really in control. Okay. So procedurally, should we come off Sierra, Sierra three? Yeah. Okay. Well, I think you can actually. To be honest, you can come off Sierra two as well. I'm going to go Sierra three. Okay. Fucking rebel. Helicopter Oscar Tango X ray is vacating runway uh, 5 to Kaya Sierra 3, taxiing to the apron. I'm going to park it into wind. No problem. As it is windy. Yeah. Telling you 20 knots. Fucking mad, that, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Let's go.